Rendition is a tool for building user interfaces with AI. Rendition can take a text description and build a nice user interface component from it. It can also take a Figma design and build an interactive, responsive Tailwind UI uh, based on it. So we're going to take a look at how Rendition works and a couple tips uh, along the way of how to use it. To do this, we're actually a little meta, going to rebuild a section of Rendition's landing page. So I'm here in Figma, and then I'll just open up my Manage Plugins, search for Rendition, and then I can uh, run this here. I'll choose the frame that I care about. It's good, it's best for smaller frames and designs to begin. Then we'll choose Build with Rendition within the Rendition Figma plugin. And then we're going to see this streaming in, uh, this response from Rendition as Rendition writes the code for us. Once that's done, very quick in this case, check the responsive behavior. Pretty happy with this. And there we go. We've even got a nice button here. So it's fully interactive. And what we want is something that looks a little bit more like this. Okay, so to do this, we're going to iterate on this design and Here's the prompt we're going to use. Let's edit this hero section to have a left and right section. On the left, the current content. On the right, add an iframe for a YouTube video, tastefully, with an email call to action below the video. We just click Go, and then Rendition is going to start working on these changes. Once again, we can see the result streaming in and uh, view this here. And it's added a nice right section for us within our hero. Uh, and it's even a Rick robot. So thanks, GPT. An internet uh, classic. So we can look at the different options here for the code that we might want. Uh, let's also check our responsiveness behavior. You can see it's okay, but two columns still on mobile, I'm not sure that that's really what um, what I would prefer. So let's actually see, yeah, as we get down really small, it's it loses its responsiveness capabilities. So we could edit this code manually to change it. We can also ask an AI to do it for us. And that's all we have to do. We'll send off this request. Once again, it's going to stream in with three attempts at making this responsive. We'll see how it does. This one already looks promising. The text looks a little bit uh, more accurate to what we want. Here's our video. And we have our subscribe button. So this one's done. Let's see. Look at that. On mobile, it goes to just one column, pretty much exactly what we would like. So now I'm going to make just a, a couple of quick manual updates to get this into the state that we want it. OK, so a couple of code changes later, I updated the uh, sign up button to be a little bit uh, poppier and um, removed. We can see the difference here. I removed to just one line here. And then on the left hand side, I made this actually left align and updated our logo. Uh, so that I now feel really happy. Again, this is a simple example, but we did two things. We compiled the design from Figma into Rendition. It wrote the code for us until we were happy with it. And then we actually iterated on it to improve upon, modify, and expand on that design to add a whole new column with a couple UI elements, including a video and a small, simple sign-up form. So this is Rendition. It's great for making straightforward uh, tailwind components from either Figma designs or text descriptions. Um, hopefully you can have a chance to try it out. Let me know what you think.